please. No! Uh, yeah, I'll be right with you. I know you're up there! <laughs> oh, marvelous. There she is. Just what I need. A crazy wood nymph. Can't a man take a bath in peace? What the hell is that? It's a panther. <gasps> you savage! And a nice clean one now, too. This is going above the mayor's bed. Okay, uh, Mrs. Hobbs will be by to handle the taxidermy. Oh, travel safe, my friend. Wait, who are you? Where's Cecil? Glenn, I'm a friend of his. Cecil had to take a few days off. Mm-hmm. For stress. Is there any oh. animal that you have not slaughtered? Oh, you flatter me, Miss Sorry, Davenport. I really will be right with the you. The answer's no, but I'm retired, as you know, and have been for some time. Yes, and how many have you out there killing for you now? Not nearly enough, I'm afraid. Business is booming. What about you there? You a hunter? Gus McMillan, master craftsman of fine clothing and accessories. Here's my card. I pay top dollar for animal furs and parts. The rarer, the Don't better. Don't listen to him. Unbelievable. How do you sleep at night? On the tiger bed spread, my dear. Seriously, come see You're me. You're no better than a murderer. And one day, you'll be seen as such. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you mind taking us outside? I don't want to Shut cover. up, Glenn. Listen, soon as a squirrel finds a cure for tuberculosis, let's talk. If intelligence is the barometer oh, of who has geez. the right to live or die, you should have been court-martialed at birth. Annoying, isn't she? <laughs> See him? The only thing he had on his mind was hunger, sweetheart, but I pulled the trigger. Survival of the fittest, didn't that your mentor's trite catchphrase? It's not survival of the fittest. You are killing to line this your own pockets. This is how I may all have a rich daddy. While you're camped out in the woods, making witches brews and talking to the wildlife, the rest of us are doing some real work. You think work. this is some big joke? Oh, oh, that, that's what enough! What the hell ah, is that? Ah, Crazy ah, shrimp. Ah, ah, they ah, should ah. throw you in an asylum. <laughs> oh, that's it. I quit. You can tell the mayor I'm going home. <sighs> oh, <laughs> sorry about that awful man. Harriet Davenport, I've been in the field now for three years, studying the hidden interconnections between animals of all species. <laughs> I've seen everything. I've <laughs> had joy, disgust, regrets, envy. <sighs> We're so much more alike than we are different. I'm on the brink of discovering the pathways that link all life. I, I just need more research material. I have in here detailed notes on pretty much every animal from armadillo to anisberg, including the locations of some truly impressive varieties. I would be willing to sell this to you if you will commit to bringing me anatomical samples from live species and uh, promise not to carry out any more animal side in pursuit of Gus McMillan's greed. I'll pay you, I'll pay you, of course. I promise I'm good for the money. You don't have to decide right now, just think about it. We've been brought together for a reason. I feel that very strongly. I've been experimenting with tonics that can provide access to remarkable new pathways of communication with other species. You have to live as they do, eat as they eat. Hop as the toad, dig as the mole, love as the badger. <laughs> you see what I've seen. You just have to open your mind. Join me on the voyage of discovery. <laughs> <laughs> 